Wow, container gardening. It can be your entire garden or it can be a feature within the garden. And this is how you do it. Select your container or containers, but be very sure that it has a drainage hole. Drainage is imperative. Place a piece of landscape fabric over the hole that is in your container. Why? Because you want to keep the critters out and the soil in. Over that piece of landscape fabric, I always place some small stones. It assists with the drainage and you just have to cover the bottom of the pot. On top of the small gravel goes a really good quality potting soil. We, of course, prefer our Maryfield brand. And I fill it two thirds of the way in that container. I always use a product called Soil Moist. It helps to retain the moisture in the soil, does not replace watering. Use according to the directions for the size of the pot. This product needs to be thoroughly turned and mixed into the bottom two thirds of the container. Now for the fun part, select your plants, either for sun or for shade. For a combination container, you are going to select a thriller, the feature, a spiller that goes over the edge of the pot, and one that fills in. Now for the planting. You must loosen the roots in that root ball, and depending upon how tight they are, you may need to do more. Be sure that those roots stop growing in a circle. As you continue to plant and pull the soil around that root ball, be sure that you keep that soil down at least an inch from the top of the pot. When all the plants are in the container, we want to add the fertilizer of your choice. This happens to be Osmocote, which is a slow release fertilizer worked into the top of the soil. Okay, you've held your soil down an inch in this container. Now, I add small gravel to the top of that soil it helps to keep the squirrels out and it keeps the soil in when you're watering. And there you have it, the finished container.